While we don't know for sure, a lot of economists seem to think that we're headed towards a recession, one that we need to be prepared for. And one of the truest hallmarks of a recession is a rise in the unemployment rate. Now, thankfully, right now, that's at a 50-year low. But there are some signs that the red-hot labor market is cooling down. We're seeing a, a contraction in the number of available jobs. So whereas, you know, a while back it was uh, two jobs open for every available, uh, and, and, you know, uh, now, uh, now we're down to 1.67. We spoke to John Caserta, a chartered financial consultant. He said two groups of workers often get targeted by recessional cutbacks. One is the newest employees, especially if their jobs themselves were recently created by expansion. The other group is the oldest employees. Employees that are at towards the latter part of their career, maybe the higher earning em, uh, employees, a lot of these companies are offering early retirement packages. Before we talk about what you can do to prepare for a layoff, maybe you can prevent it. If you're an employee and uh, you're, you're innovative, uh, you're taking initiative, those things are going to be invaluable uh, to a company, especially during a downturn. Uh, so I think being uh, invaluable in your position uh, is really key. Also, consider a return to the office if your boss is pushing for it. It might not be fair, but many employees who are out of sight might be out of mind and not in a good way. I think it's going to be harder to prove that value if you're remote and you're not seen uh, as much. As for an emergency fund, Caserta said try to build up at least three months of expenses, but no more than a full year of salary. From there, don't be shy about investing for the future. But he said, be mindful that not every place you can park your money makes it easy to take it back out for emergencies. Certainly, if you have a traditional 401k, you may have some uh, some loan options available to you, uh, but it's not that easy to get the money out. So you want to be mindful of that accessibility. So using things that are non-retirement based, uh, you might find it easier to, to, to access that money. I'm Tim Lammers, Fox 61 News.